you'll hollow it out like this. It was a very tough job to do. It would take a professional about two to three hours to make one pair by hand. And I'm not a professional, but I have these machines, so I can do it in about five minutes. So first I'm going to make the outside of the wooden shoe. This machine has the same system as duplicating keys. So I'm going to make a copy of this model. <laughs> there you have the rough outside of the wooden shoe. For the inside same system, again I'm going to make a copy of the model. Here we have the rough inside. The point and the heel are still cut out by hand using this big knife. Here we have the rough shape of the wooden shoe. It's not finished yet because it's still very wet. I will try to show you now. <laughs> so right now about half the weight of this wooden shoe is still water. The <laughs> might needs to dry very slowly by air for about three to four weeks. And once it's dry, we polish it on a sandpaper belt. 
The final result is then a wooden shoe for a child of about four years old. That might look big. That's normal. Wooden shoes are big. The reason is we still wear them today. First of all, they are very strong. They are also waterproof and insulated. The best way to wear wooden shoes is with thick wooden socks and one finger extra space at the heel. That way they are very comfortable. So that was my story about how wooden shoes are made. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.